found the clean version. But no, I need to stop. Oh, go! Go! One more! Go. Test me, I have an all. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of tired of snipers only at this point. I mean, it was really fun at the start. I thought I would hit crazy clips and uh, I, I didn't. <laughs> Seems like I'm just getting shit on by other snipers who are better than me or I'm playing against fucking bots who've never used a sniper in their life and they just in the back of the map. So I think we're going to switch it up and go for Nuketown clips. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going to talk about this video. It's a fucking blizzard outside my house. Like it's been snowing for the past four hours and I'm not even going to be able to leave the house tomorrow. I don't think you don't even understand how much snow is on the ground right now. It's actually insane. So as you guys know, I've been on the Twitch and YouTube grind for the past month. Month. And can you believe it's almost the end of uh, January already? This video probably will go up in February, but the fact that it's oh, it's been already a month into 2021, it's just crazy to me. I'm really enjoying making videos, but at the same time, like it's pretty discouraging when I make a new video and it just doesn't do well. I don't know. I'm glad I'm switching it up with this more personality based content because I don't want to be known as like just the reaction guy for the whole time I'm on YouTube. I want to branch out and do a little bit more. I've never been really like a cut calm guy where I just like, you know, make videos where I play and talk to the camera. It's always been like stream highlights or reaction videos or something. I like this switch up though. I mean, the fact that I can just record a video and not have to worry about like hitting clips is pretty entertaining. I mean, obviously I would love to hit a clip for a video, but like the fact that I don't have to stress about hitting one is just, just awesome. By the way, no one really comments on that, but that's a picture of moose head on batman my girlfriend got that made for me for my birthday uh, a couple years ago and i've just it's just awesome you know when i'm making these type of videos i realize that you guys know nothing about me at all like, i've never talked to the camera and told you guys about like me my personal life and stuff which i mean for the most part i don't want to share to be honest like i don't really like to share my personal life and stuff but i think i'm more open to it now than i ever have been just with uh just with everything that's gone on like, you guys don't even no, like some of you probably don't even know my real name. So the name Logs is actually, that was my nickname in uh, middle school. My real name is Logan, which is, I mean, you could probably have guessed. I remember Alistair for the first time figured that out and he was like freaking out. And he's like, I can't believe your name's Logan. <laughs> I'm like, it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of like obvious, right? <laughs> Maybe it's not as obvious as I would think, but uh, I think most people know that uh, Logs and Logan kind of go together. But yeah, man, you know, for all the time I've been on YouTube, I've never really, you know, branched out of the uh, reaction to highlights. I love doing stream highlights, don't get me wrong, but I'm kind of getting burnt out. I know I'm not really going to grow from stream highlights. I had a really good conversation in Remedy's stream the other day. I basically asked him, like, what do you do with all the clips that you hit on stream? Like, I know he doesn't make highlight videos because I subscribed to his channel. Boom, there we go. Yeah, uh, the thing is that I'll use them. Um, so like my, I made like a video last week where, uh, what was it? I forgot what I did. Precision aim assist. Like I'll use clips and highlights as the background. I don't make highlight videos. Uh, for me, I, I don't like highlight videos. Uh, I use highlights for like the first minute of my video. Then for the next few minutes, I'll have a concept behind it. And then for the last like minute, I'll have uh, highlights and clips. And he basically said that he doesn't like highlight videos. Like he doesn't, he never really enjoyed them. He used to upload them, but he just doesn't really enjoy watching them. And he, do he doesn't want to make them himself. Oh my gosh. Dude. And me personally, I used to love stream highlights. Like which stream highlight videos uh you know he, he deleted his channel but they're still up on youtube you can find them his old stream highlight videos were like my favorite videos to watch but there hasn't been very many other stream highlights that i enjoyed as much as those so yeah man highlight videos i like watching them and i enjoy making them but i just feel like it's just so oversaturated especially on cold war like i'd be fine making highlight videos on uh you know world at war or something but on cold war there's just so many people doing them and doing them better because to be honest i don't hit anything like i don't hit crazy clips so so you can either go watch like someone like Salsa or Bams or someone hit like crazy stream highlights or you can come and watch me hit fails and miss triples and shit. So looking at it really, if I want to like, you know, grow my channel, there's no point in uploading stream highlight videos. So that's why I'm probably gonna stop doing them. I might not stop doing them all together. Like I would oh. I would love to do multi-cod highlights here and there. Okay, okay, okay. But just definitely cut back on them. Where's he at? Where's he at? 
Holy shit, those pistols are fucked. What is that? The Magnums? Yeah, man, I plan to do a lot more, uh, you know, personality yeah. content, as you would say. I've actually recently been watching a lot of FaZe Jeff videos, like his old ones. The fact that that dude joined FaZe off of personality content back when montages were still the biggest thing. Like, FaZe really, really saw something big. Like, they saw the next move. Like, looking back at how big Jeb is now, that's just fucked. Did I just hit marker that? I did! I did hit marker it. They were way ahead of the tide with uh, Jeb and stuff. Like, just knowing that, you know, that personality shit is going to pop off. Because he was one of the pioneers for doing this shit. But yeah, like, seeing people succeed over the years is just so motivating for me. Because I know that if I put more effort in and I tried... Like, years back when I started doing reactions and stuff. Don't get me wrong, I'm not regretting, like, everything that I've done on YouTube and Twitch and stuff. But, like, if I put more effort in back then, I would be at a better place now. I don't know, man. Since Scope joined FaZe, like, over a month ago. Which is crazy to think it's been a month. I've just been on the grind, man. Like, I've been loving Cold War, making content on this game. I know, like, not everyone likes it, but I enjoy it, so. Okay, okay, okay. Why'd that guy spawn in backwards? I'm gonna go for the triple. The sore Mitch triple. I'm sorry, he's always gonna be sore bitch to me. I mean, I know he's got kicked a long time ago for stupid reasons. A lot of people think that I don't like uh, Mitch because of the uh, meme video I made about COD News where I basically talk about him and the exalt situation. I have nothing against Mitch. I think, uh, you know, he's he's kind of got a little bit of an ego, but nothing, nothing major. People really hate on Mitch for like his ego, but I mean, if y'all were back in the community back th back in the day, y'all remember some of these guys had crazy egos, like fucking demonic egos. But yeah, I don't really hate anyone in the community. There's some weirdos in the community, but there's no one like I just personally just dislike. There's a lot of cool people in the COD community, which is why I wanted to start the podcast and uh, bring people on just to talk to them. <clears throat> There are so many cool and interesting people in the sniping community, which is the number one reason why I wanted to start the sniping podcasts, just so I can bring people on and talk to them. So basically the goal for my channel by the time I like stop uploading and just quit YouTube altogether is I want to be able to go years down the road, like five to six years from now, go onto YouTube, click on an old montage that you used to always love, type it in the search bar, and then my reaction pops up. So when you want to go back and watch a cool COD video that you used to love, back in the day you will be able to watch it with me kind of a weird thing if you think about it but i also would love to you know make an archive of sniping podcast uh, where i just talk to people from the cod community i've actually done quite a few and i wish i would have saved them so i could upload them i wish i would have uploaded them on youtube just so i'd have them saved but i have done a, lo a lot i've had on like 15 plus guests uh just last year and i stopped doing it for a while because i just couldn't do it with my schedule so for my work schedule, I work from 4 in the afternoon till 2 in the morning. So it's a pretty gnarly schedule. Because of that schedule, it's hard to find good times for people to come on the podcast and uh, be able to do it with me. And that's honestly the only reason I stopped doing it is because it's so hard to schedule it for people. But I told myself I'm going to do it at least once a week this year. And uh, hopefully I'll have a bunch of people on by the end of the year. If I get a nuclear this game, I will definitely have a title for the video. Because right now, I have no idea what I'm titling this video. <laughs> We've been been talking about random shit the old time i don't even know what i'm gonna title it i definitely need to get better at this like personality stuff because right now like there's no uh there's no storyline for this video it's literally just me playing no 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 ah! i was on a seven kill streak yeah i don't know what i'm gonna title this video because i don't have shit going for me I plan to make a lot of meme videos, uh, like the uh, Nick Merckx one. Like, <laughs> I just enjoy making those stupid videos. I think I'm gonna title the video, I'm already bored with snipers only, or snipers only is boring because it honestly is. Like, they could make snipers only so much better if they added more game modes like hardpoint and they also disabled like melee. Like, melee is the worst thing in snipers only. Getting punched over and over while you're trying to play is just so freaking annoying. But yeah, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. If you want to see more content like this, you know, just cut commentary stuff, leave a like, tell me in the comments what you want me to play, what other things you want me to talk about. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and I'm out. Deuces. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You didn't actually think we would start the video without our sponsor, E-Advantage, baby. E-Advantage is the best gaming supplement for Call of Duty snipers. It increases your energy, reaction time, all that stuff. And XWASD Mitch even said it himself. It's the best.
And then I stumbled upon this E advantage. It said, boost your brain, dominate the game. I figured, couldn't hurt. <laughs> Mitch did turn to the dark side and started using G Fuel, but we don't really talk about him. But uh, yeah, if you do want to try E advantage, use the link down below, click it, and when you're at checkout, use code LOGS for 10.5% off for the discount. Let's freaking go!